Alright, back again. This is part two of my Pure Pure collection. As you can see, I've got the um, Game Boy games up and running here. The Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy games. So I'm now going to move from the Game Boy Advance to the DS. Now, I've got um, the three DS games that are out at the moment. I've obviously um, ordered uh, pre-ordered Pure Pure 7. That will be uh, sent to me as soon as possible. So, I'll put them in order here. We've got P Pure Pop Fever or Pure Pure Fever. This one I imported from America, um, Pure Pure Fever 2, or Fever 2. This is a really, really good game. And um, a Pure Pure 15th anniversary, which um, was released to commemorate um, 15 years of Pure Pure. Now, I'm sure people would, I'm sure people that know me in the Pure Pure games, I'll just show you this, this is a Pure Pure Fever, that's the game card, and the instruction manual. Now, Truth be told, I think this this version, Proof of Fever, is absolute rubbish. It's a really badly made game. Um, the Fever schematic is very imbalanced. It doesn't really work too well. Um, not that I don't understand the mode, so I understand the mode perfectly. It's just, it's my opinion, and you're just going to have to respect that, I'm afraid. I know there's people that say that Fever is the best thing ever made, but... The common fallacy is, because this game is the last recognised one that was released in... Um, Europe and America, those people adopt this game as um, as the main game to play, and um, it isn't really a good version. Uh, there are many people that would rather play something like uh, Pure Pure Sun than they would uh, Pure Pure Fever. But this is where Fever 2 comes into the mix, and I must say, this game is a lot better than the first one. There's more to it, better storyline, much more in-depth. Characters a bit more balanced, which is always a good sign. And the game overall is just great fun to play. That and uh, Strange Klug is the most epic <laughs> final boss character that Sega have made in the Pure Pure series. It's on par with um, Doppelganger Old in Pure Pure. On. So there's the game card and there's the instruction book for it. And um, now there's always been a bit of confusion saying, well... If Pure Pure Fever is the fifth game of the series, then is Pure Pure Fever 2 the sixth game of the series, or is Pure Pure 15th Anniversary the sixth game of the series? Um, I call this the Final Fantasy X Syndrome, because uh, Pure Pure Fever is the fifth of the series, it is the one after uh, Pure Pure On, but because Fever 2 is a direct sequel, it carries on from the events after um, Fever, t uh, after Fever, as opposed to, um, let's say, the other games in, in Pure Pure, Pure Pure Sun isn't really related to Pure Pure Sue, uh, Pure Pure Sue isn't really related to Pure Pure other than the characters, and the same with Pure Pure On, uh, they're just completely different storylines, but because this is set in pretty much the same same time, same storyline, um, it is actually a direct sequel, so Pure Pure Fever and Fever 2 are the fifth of the series, it's, think of this as Final Fantasy X and this is Final Fantasy X Part 2. 10 Part 2 isn't Final Fantasy 11. It's its own separate game branching off from the first. 15th Anniversary, on the other hand, is a completely different game. Um, characters have changed, inclusion of some of the classic characters coming, like um, Shezo, Zodaimo, Siketsudara, Rulu, Satansama, and Nasa Grave. I had to think for a moment then. <laughs> and um, this game itself is really, really good fun. You can see here, it's got the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for um, logo saying that you can play online with this. It is pretty good online, just not here, because um, our internet is rubbish. So you've got the game cart for 15th anniversary and the instruction book. And this game is a very, very good compilation. However, it's not the ultimate compilation, and I'm going to skip from uh, DS to the PlayStation 1. I've got Pure Pure Su, Keteban, Pure Pure Sun, Keteban, and Pure Pure Box. Why have I gone over to the uh, PlayStation version, do you ask? Guess I'll show you. Just move these out of the way. Pure Pure Su, Keteban is a really good version of the game. Um, it's base, it's got pretty much the same things as uh, the Saturn version, except the music is uh, pretty, pretty cool, pretty, pretty fun. Um, the game itself plays really, really well. You see, if you're just too careful, that's this spelt that wrong. There needs to be an e in between the t, the t and the i, but no one cares. An instruction book here, and the game disc, and this is probably, and as you see here, suit means expert, not 
not a pun or anything or like that. Well, it is a pun, but it's, it just means expert. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, it is a really good version of the game. Sun Keteban is, again, similar to uh, Sun on the Saturn. It's got a few more bits in it. It's got like a tournament mode, um, various other various other modes, if I remember rightly. So there's the, you know, the instruction book and the game disc for uh, Pure Sun Keteban. And it's a, it's a really good version. It lacks netplay, obviously. Only the Saturn version had that in terms of domestic release. And now, Pure Pure Box. This game is a must-have for any Pure Pure collection. Why do I say this? Quite simply because it is the ultimate compendium game for the Pure Pure um, series. It's the last one to be made by Compile. It's released only on the PlayStation 1. And um, as you can see, we've got the, the manual here. And the box on uh, box, <laughs> the Pew Pew box disc in the inlet there. And um, what this game has is a very very good um, multiplayer mode in the in the sense that um, when you're cho before you go to level select, you choose the rule select, and you can either play a Pew Pew rule, Pew Pew Su, Pew Pew Sun, or Pew Pew On rules. And um, they all have their little twerks, and they actually mimic um, the rules that have been released. So. If you play a four player, you can have player one have player one, two, two, three, sun, four, yon, and um, get down and party. <laughs> it's a brilliant game. This also has a Mardon Malagatari style quest where when you battle um, enemies, you play them at a Puru match and um, certain items increase your power by a certain amount or allows you to see uh, certain pieces ahead, etc. It's a really good game, a really fun game. And um, one special mention about uh, this version is... Um, the treasure mode, which is a special multiplayer game, um, similar to Flash Columns, and uh, people of Pupil 15th anniversary will know it as Excavation. Um, this actually was first in box, and um, you just basically bury down, get to the treasure chest, erase the treasure chest, and masses of garbage is thrown on your opponent. Great fun mode. Kept it in 15th anniversary. It's one of the best modes of multiplayer of Pupil that you can have, because it's all about speed. It's really, really good. So, yeah, it's a pretty good version. Now, uh, kind of like running out of time, so I'll flip this over to a third part. But I'll show you the Super Famicom games that I've got here. I've got Super Pure Pure Su, Super Pure Pure Su Remix, and uh, Super Pure Pure. And this one is actually in the box. I'll just uh, quickly get this out. <laughs> There's the box. You've got the manual here. On top, the game cartridge there. This is a really good version. I, I really do like this version. It plays pretty solidly. Nice music. Really good. Obviously, I'm lacking Kirby's Ghost Trap. Um, I may get that at some point, but probably not in the near future. It's not one of my favourite um, games, but it would be one to have because it's part of the collection. Uh, Pupil Pupil Sue and Pupil Pupil Sue Remix. There's a vast difference between the two. Not so much the music, because the music in Sue Remix is... Kind of like the arcade version Stroker, uh, PC-98 version of Pure Pure Sue. Whereas this one has got instruments similar to Super Pure Pure. Um, this one here, you can do four player with Ultra Multitap. You can have common substitute players. It's got um, the Rally mode, which is also found in like uh, Saturn version of Pure Pure Sue and the Pure Pure Sue Keteban. And obviously, of course, um, the Pocket version. Not, not the Game Gear, but the Game Boy version of Pocket Pure Pure Sue has the same Rally mode. And, um, you know, it's got a couple more game modes to it, etc. But on the whole, pretty much the same game. Really, really good. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off here and then I'll um, talk about the last of my collection. So, thanks for watching. Peace.